Alrighty, so I'm gonna be a little bit informal with this one, so please bear with me on this one. I'm just gonna pretty much wing it on this story. So it seems like a couple of hours ago, earlier today, major news, no pun intended, uh, broke out about Jonathan Majors. Y'all know the new guy in town. You might have uh, seen him on the last episode of Loki. Uh, he popped up uh, in that Loki series in Disney+. Plus. He also showed up as the same character on Ant-Man Quantumania. He's the next big bad for Marvel. You know that dude? Yeah, Jonathan Majors, that brother that has been making sisters speak in tongues. Yes, that brother. Well, it seems that, you know, high value men sometimes also come with high value trouble. As Jonathan Majors was arrested in New York for assaulting a woman, but his rep said he's done nothing wrong so um interesting words to use that he's done nothing wrong does that mean that the accusation was false um does that mean that the accusation is true but he's in his right to have done what he did well we'll find out but let's just jump into this story and get the lowdown and gist i have my thoughts and i'm going to share my thoughts as we go along please feel free to share your thoughts in that comment section below and if you could do me the kindness of smashing the like button as well it will be massively massively appreciated thank you very much Lee. now without further ado let's just jump straight into this now shall we Here's what allegedly happened in the lead up to this. Par uh, law enforcement sources, police were told that the alleged victim is Major's girlfriend. And according to her, they got into an argument while in a taxi returning home from a bar in Brooklyn. Pretty standard stuff. It seems like uh, Jonathan Majors may, on suspicion of him having some extra, you know, relationship stuff. I think she was a bit suspicious regarding what was happening. And um, uh, she tried to do something that led into one thing led to another an attack happened so um sources say police were told that the girlfriend saw another woman texting majors and she confronted him trying to sneak a peek at his phone uh we're told the alleged victim slash girlfriend claims this got majors mad and that he allegedly grabbed her uh her hand and allegedly slapped her so you see um i don't know if this is true because it's all alleged as it were i don't know if i believe her i don't know if i would believe him but um ladies there are some guys out there i'm not saying necessarily this guy but those of you looking for high value men remember that high value men some of them do come with five-fold ministry so they better make sure they do not have five-fold ministry and when i say five-fold ministry i mean one two three four five fold ministry so be very very wary about that because some of you have all these long list of things that you want in a man but you never include the fact that um there's a possibility that they could have all those things and still have a very quick hand as well in any case uh we're told we are also told that the alleged victim claims he put his hands around her neck during this uh, sources say the woman uh, was dropped off somewhere and Jonathan spent the night elsewhere. It appears the girlfriend went to police the following morning and reported a crime. So my first question would be this. My investigative cap on says, why did you not go straight to report the situation? Why wait till the morning? when you could have easily done something to yourself before reporting when there's no fresh evidence, right? However, um, it seems like the police are convinced that Jonathan did this. Uh, Jonathan Majors was arrested in New York City this weekend, and according to the police, he's been accused of putting his hands on a woman, but Johnston claims it's BS. So we're getting more information that they're actually claiming that it is false. So law enforcement sources tells us the actor was booked Saturday morning on charges of strangulation assault and harassment we are told cops responded to the call for service around 11 a.m et near the chelsea neighborhood of manhattan so i still have some question regarding this because not the fact that they said that he was guilty in charges of strangulation assault and harassment let's read a little bit of the description of what the police saw in terms of evidence uh, regarding this whole attack. Now, we're told that the alleged victim in this case, a female, relates to the police that Majors had gotten into a dispute with her and proceeded to attack her. 
their exact relationship is unknown so we're still just uh, assuming that their boyfriend and girlfriend who knows or whatnot you know could be some you know something something going on anyway our sources tells us the alleged victim had visible injuries including a laceration behind her ears redness and marks to her face she was taken to an area hospital and is in stable condition so my question is this if there was strangulation why is there no marks on her neck in this description there's no marks on her neck this is just my um detective work from years of watching a little bit of uh what do you call it lucifer and whatnot <laughs> and some other detective movies out there uh but yeah why is there no description of any redness to redness to her neck or anything of a sort so i've got questions i've got questions so is it possible that this dude did this because this dude i mean look at his arm it's twice the size of mine i mean it's it's, it's 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 really bad you don't you don't do that anyway you don't do that as for majors he was coughed and taken to jail on the spot as police felt there was enough evidence to probe because we are hearing he is currently out of custody so i think he's been released and um yeah there's that but in any case you guys you don't put your hands on a woman i think i learned that a long time ago that you don't put your hands on a woman so speaking from experience i have Two moments that I'm not exactly proud of for two different reasons um, of putting my hands on a female. So the second time I would say was the time I was back in high school and um, yeah, I had this classmate that was always taunting me she was slightly bigger than i was so she thought she could take me and she's been taunting me for a couple of days and it just got to a point where i couldn't take it i gave her a warning and she grabbed my shirt and uh yeah i did the dirty i did the exact same thing as him i'm not proud of it but i slapped her so she burst into tears and unbeknownst to me the principal was uh, her uncle so you could imagine what would happen what ensued next now i was punished the same way they punished students back home in my days you would kneel down in the sun on the sand with your hands up and your eyes closed now every teacher that passed by and saw me especially the male teachers that knew me that had been my class teachers would ask what did you do and as soon as i told them they would give me lashes off the cane i could have sworn my back looked like will smith's back at emancipation the number of beating that i got from at least three teachers on the day and on the day the uncle was not around he came in the next day and found out and gave me a beating and this was in such a time whereby you couldn't even go home and tell your parents because if your parents found out that you were beaten in school they would beat you as well that's what they would do so that was the second time so i learned the hard way the first time i actually put my hands on a female was in my fourth grade where i had this altercation with a girl two grades higher than i was and i thought i could take her um needless to say i got my ass beat matter of fact she shoved me on the wall so hard that um i kind of like shifted my my shoulder and told them at home that a senior student beat me but i could not tell them it was a girl <laughs> so in any case you guys two things i learned you don't put your hands on a woman because one she might beat you yes those things do happen they do happen it's a possibility or two she might have people that could beat you so you don't put your hands on a woman but all jokes aside it's just, it's just not done it's just not the right thing to do but you never know nobody's perfect things these things do happen but it will be interesting to see the direction that they really go with this because you know we've seen ezra miller um has had several allegations of assault some proofs beyond allegation of assault and still his movies coming out so regardless they've got a lot of movies slated for um jonathan majors to show up at the marvel cinematic universe in phase five leading up to the secret wars and whatnot so i wonder what's going to happen to all those movies should he be found guilty but i'm hoping that this is another case because i don't believe all women i don't believe him either but this could be another case of johnny depp where they might react because disney um they're into firing wokeness these days they don't care because they just did so to alonzo who has two infinity stones of wokeness but um alonzo a uh, victoria alonzo is not an actor maybe actors have different privileges because he does certainly have at least one infinity stone of wokeness so it will be interesting to see where disney goes with this